Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Friday, October 22nd, 2021. Let's talk about a team that might be a gambler's paradise. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me also, before I start, let me just make a quick editorial comment here. Steph Curry, last night, scored 25 points in a quarter. Everyone's losing their minds. He is a great player. What I want people to contemplate is someone averaging 25 points for all four quarters. Right? If Curry, after his 25-point quarter, could have then repeated that three times, three more times, then he'd be standing on Mount Rushmore with Wilt Chamberlain, who scored 100 in a game without the three-point shot. Right? Understand, there are different levels of dominance. It's laughable to me when we talk about the GOAT, right? the greatest player of all time, and Chamberlain's name is not in the conversation. Let's also remember, too, that like Curry, a guard, Chamberlain, from the center position, once led the NBA in assists. He was that good a passer. Let's shift gears. You know, let's say that you have some ties to Los Angeles. Obviously, the police outside here do. But let's say you have some ties to Los Angeles and you understand that two of the better players out of UCLA recently are Zach Levine, the two-time slam dunk champion at the All-Star um, Weekend. By the way, Levine is a stat monster. For those of you playing fantasy, you need to look at Levine's numbers. And, of course, Lonzo Ball, a guy who at one point was a top two or three pick in an NBA draft. Right now, both of those guys are teammates with two guys who are iconic from the USC program, right? DeMar DeRozan. Folks, you'll have a hard time finding a more productive player out of USC over the last decade. And of course, Nikola Vucevic, right? You have USC, you have UCLA, you even have former Laker Alex Caruso on this team. And yet they're not in L.A., right? You're thinking, where do I find them? Staples Center? No, no. Folks, this is the core of the Chicago Bulls. They have prodigious offensive weaponry. Just be aware of the fact that for tonight's game, in fact, until November, Kobe White is out. But that shouldn't be a problem. They're playing Lonzo Ball's old team. The Pelicans, a team that lost their first game of the season by 20 points. Right now, I don't like the line here. The Bulls are favored by six. If you are savvy enough to be on a website where you could shave some points off the line, I would try to get this line under five points. But I'm expecting these Bulls right? Levine, DeRozan, just, the, just those two guys alone should get you 45 points. On the low end, conservatively, I'm expecting these Bulls to feast on a team that is as defensively challenged as the Pelicans, right? Understand, the Pelicans have played once this year. They gave up 117 points. I like the Chicago Bulls over the Pelicans, certainly on a money line. If I if you can dumb the line down to below five, I'll even play with a dumbed down point spread. Keep an eye on the Chicago Bulls. I think they're for real. I think this team easily makes the playoffs, right? I think this team is going to surprise some people. I also think Lonzo Ball is just coming into who he is, right? I think our expectations for him were a little bit too high, right? Now, of course, he's 
learning the game and sometimes a player's uh, fourth or fifth year kind of like is where he finds himself. As for Levine, what I want people to do is to look closely at this guy's three-point shooting numbers. Understand, when this guy came in the league, he was one of the highlight real dunkers. This guy actually has quietly become one of the league's better players. Folks, he's deadly from three-point range. You cannot leave him open. I think the spacing is going to be tremendous on this team. I'm expecting them to beat the Pelicans tonight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.